my friends how are you love reading time <laughs> i did um i did all those zodiacs yesterday and it used up all my energy but today i wanted to come on and do a face reading for you um right away i grabbed this deck messages of love i just felt called to grab it and we have reminiscing i miss our inside jokes so it feels like someone is reminiscing about you perhaps you're reminiscing about someone but we're gonna see what's happening here so let's see what's coming towards you in love. What are you dealing with? What is this? We have, I see your side of the story. So it feels like someone you have detached from, someone that you're in separation from is longing for you. And it feels like they're starting to see your perspective. So they may be coming in with a different perspective. They see your side of the story. They understand your side, whatever that means. So let's keep going. What else? Forgiveness. So this person... Anyway, this person is looking for forgiveness. And you could be struggling to forgive this person. You may still have resentment for them. And I was explaining in a reading earlier that when we hold resentment against people, it can actually block them from coming back. You know, we say... Well, some people say they don't want their ex back, but some people, you know, will feel resentment towards someone and then wonder, like, why isn't my ex reaching out to me? Well, it's because you still have resentment. I'm not saying that we have to forgive and forget anything like that, but forgiveness is important for your own for your own healing journey. When you have resentment, it's like swords in the heart, you know? Um, so it does feel like someone is looking for forgiveness here. Someone sees your side of the story now. It feels like they understand the damage that they've caused here. We have the damage card. And, you know, now that they're in reflection, they're just missing you. <clears throat> seeing your side of the story, seeing your perspective, possibly King of Swords energy. But we'll see what comes out. So let's keep going. Oh, yeah, my, 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 my. We have reunion. We will always come back to each other. So it feels like you and this person have been through this before. We have, I don't want to run anymore. So it feels like someone who ran from this coming back. Someone who was acting from a place of ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. And it's clear to me that there was a break. There's a detachment card here. And it's in reverse. It almost feels like this person ready to come out of no contact. Um, I will say I saw a lot of people yesterday were hearing from their people. And yesterday, if you guys are not new around here, during a reading, one day I found a spider and named him George. And yesterday, George came back. It was the first time I've seen George in months. Um, it like totally distracted the reading I was doing because I was like, oh my gosh, is that George? So I was thinking about that, you know, the energy of someone coming back. I'm hearing coming home. Let's get two more. And then we'll get tarot. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. Mm. Look, I told you they're missing you. Six of cups energy. I told you. <laughs> So we've got someone here that's afraid it's too late to take action. So I'm not sure if it's been a while since you heard from this person. I'm seeing someone possibly with ADHD. Your affirmation, I am relaxed. Hmm, maybe you're relaxing. Maybe you're relaxing in the sun right now. Maybe you're in Empress Energy. Anyway, um, I was just hearing maybe this person has ADHD. And, you know, when someone with ADHD loses contact with someone... Um, it's like it becomes a task and they put it off and they put it off and they put it off and like, oh, that can wait until tomorrow. Oh, that can wait until tomorrow. And before you know it, years have passed and you haven't talked to that person. Um, my best friend and I, our friendship is very different now that, that we realized we're both neurodivergent and we're more patient with each other when it comes to that kind of stuff. Anyway, we have inseparable and reminiscing. So our love is always there despite the distance. So there could be a distance. There could be distance between you and this person, emotional distance, physical distance, both. And we have Six of Cups energy. So definitely missing you, craving you. 
And you know, you could be picking up on this. If all of a sudden you're missing this person and you were feeling detached and all of a sudden you're thinking about them again, very symbolic that they are thinking about you. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. These cards! I haven't given up hope on us yet. So this is someone who's still hopeful that someday, I'm hearing someday, another time, another universe, we could make it work. So this person still has hope for this. Beautiful. So we're going to get some tarot to look at this and see what's happening. I'm being called to get one more. That's weird. Irreplaceable. Why are all the nice cards coming out? I just, I just said that I felt like one more needed to come out. It's another nice one. The way you love can never be matched. Empress energy. No one compares, nothing compares to you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> nothing compares to you. So I'm using this new deck from a member of the soul tribe who wishes to remain anonymous. <laughs> I'm calling them the ninja, the tarot ninja, the ninja tarot person. They sneakily sent me a few decks without naming themselves. <laughs> Look at what's on the bottom! The lovers! That's interesting. Because we've got... Wait. Where is it? Sorry. <laughs> we've got two old couples here. Look at that beautiful and if you look at this there's initials in the trees so I'm going to tell you what those initials are in case it resonates because I believe in that we have C N M and H maybe it looks like M and it could be M and M E and G M D K and S and there's like a lover's tree where people have their initials in the tree. So maybe you and your person put your initials somewhere. I find it funny where I live. Um, on the highways, on the stone, people will like spray paint their initials like Betty loves Bob or whatever it is. And then you'll see it scratched out and it's like, man, you must have really... Like, it would take a lot for me to do that in the first place, but then after breaking up, to go back out onto the highway and cover it up? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that could be symbolic. Maybe you and your person have your initials somewhere. Maybe you put them on one of those padlocks and threw away the key into the water. Do you know what I mean? We also have the sun of water here, which is rekindling energy, a romantic offer, someone who's following their heart right back to you. So let's see what's happening here. You could be dealing with a divine connection with the lovers. Doesn't have to be. Um, we will always come back to each other. Sounds very um, counterparty <laughs> to me. But anyway, let's see what's coming in. Temperance. Balance. The balancing of energy between masculine and feminine. Very interesting. It looks like an offering. Hmm. So let's see what's coming in. We have the Four of Water and the Emperor Holy. Mm -hmm. So you have victory coming, Six of Wands. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I'm looking at my counterparts. And we have the Four of Water. Just take a moment to look at the cuteness of the sea otters. So this, you could be dealing with someone who coming towards you is has a fear of being rejected. You may not see this coming. We have the emperor. Aries energy. So this could have been someone who took you for granted, four of cups. Um, this could have been someone who you know, is coming out of nowhere. Maybe you don't see it coming. Interesting. Divine Masculine Energy and Victory. Ace of Fire. Taking action. Inspired action. So let's see who is this person. Who is this person? 
I just got cut off. So, very interesting. We have the Five of Fire. So someone that you had disagreements with, there was conflict, there was blockages. And in this image, you see that plane going down in smoke. Um, we also have the sun here, so you could be dealing with the Divine Masculine. Um, interesting. For who this is, it could be a Capricorn. I did see the devil pop out. But we have truce here. So it's someone that you're in Four of Swords energy with, detachment. And it seems like there was some kind of... It says truce, so it feels like reflection was needed in order to come to a truce with this person, in order to come to an understanding. And I feel like this person, Four of Swords, has been reflecting about this, and now they have a new understanding, a new outlook. Look at the birdies. I used to feed seagulls in elementary school because I didn't have any friends. <laughs> I believe the birds were my friends. And we have judgment. And if you look at this, this is someone whose reality, they've had a wake up call. You know, we see their perception of this has changed. Um, this is someone who maybe you were mirroring with judgment this could be someone who wants to take accountability who wants to apologize we saw the forgiveness it could be that you're struggling to forgive this person because of their behaviors they could have had toxic behaviors with the sun and the devil i'm hearing narcissistic tendencies um, i'm not saying they were narcissist i'm saying narcissistic tendencies which come from having you know raised if you're raised by a narcissist you can have narcissistic tendencies anyway um, but yeah, someone who's had an awakening, someone who you haven't heard from. So let's see. Let's see future energy with this person. Future energy with this person. We have the chariot and the king of cups. Queen of swords. Beautiful. I love this deck. You, whoever you are that bought me this deck, I love you <laughs> because I resonate with this deck. Like I connected with it instantly and I don't think it was on my wish list. So you're magical. So we do have the tower here. No, the chariot. What am I talking about? Um, interesting. I don't know what that is. I'm sure I could look in the book, but there's forward motion here, the chariot. So what's coming next? Forward motion. You're going to be hearing from this person. Very interesting. And we have the King of Water. So someone coming in with an offer, a cup of love. Remember, King of Water, the devil, the sun could have been emotionally manipulative. Manipulative. I'm not saying they were doing it on purpose. It could have been subconscious. It could have been self-sabotage. But those three cards, there's something about that here. And, you know... They're seeing your side of the story, so maybe they're seeing how their behaviors affected you. Um, water sign, air sign on the bottom, and we have the star, so we do have like hope and healing. But look at this, we have the mother of air, queen of air, so we have someone coming towards you, heavy water energy. Um, perhaps you stood in your truth with this person, you know? And it feels like maybe your boundaries up. Maybe that's why this person is afraid to come in. Let's see how you're feeling about this person. I feel like I have a hair stuck to me. Anyway, how are you feeling about this person? Two of Wands. So you see this arm wrestle type energy? I love this Two of Wands card because I always interesting very interesting for how you feel about this person six of pentacles so it could have been that there was um an an imbalance in the energy exchange you could feel like they don't feel the same way about you you could feel like you were giving more and it wasn't reciprocated temperance remember we saw temperance so you could have been giving more and maybe this connection became really unbalanced and it looks to me two of wands that I love this two of wands card because it's very symbolic of 
you know, I talk about the two of wands about how it's meant to, like in a lot of cards, you see the world in it. And it's symbolic of needing to change your approach. And, you know, if you look at this, this is very clear to me, two people in an arm wrestle with equal strength. And if you've ever been in an arm wrestle with someone with equal strength, it becomes deadlocked. If you're both doing the same thing and pushing, 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 and your strength is matched and you're just kind of in stagnant energy, no one's going to win. Someone needs to change their approach. Sirens. Interesting. Sign of protection. Anyway, um, so this is very symbolic of, you know, you feel like maybe you and this person became stagnant maybe somebody needed to change their approach here you know it feels like this wasn't moving forward you know maybe somebody needed to give a little more let's see how this person is feeling about you that came right away ace of pentacles so they're feeling like it's time to come in and plant this pentacle there's they feel you know they want to invest in this. This is an offer of stability. Hmm. I'm hearing diamond in the rough. Like, those are crystals in there. In the ground. So beautiful. For how they feel about this. I'm hearing hidden gem. Diamond in the rough. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Interesting. We have page of wands so this is someone who feels inspired to come towards you with this pentacle the page of wands can be about the action you take after a spiritual awakening to the beginning you have after a spiritual awakening after a realization after a moment of judgment let's see how they're feeling about you how are they feeling about you sorry <laughs> we have the wheel of fortune very interesting we have the jack and ace of spades there um it does feel like this person wants to change something here wants to change this cycle wants to take a gamble towards you wants to it's like a turning point it's like this person is ready to show their hand and what was I saying about King of Swords? Was I or was I not saying I'm seeing the King of Swords? Someone who has clarity now. Someone who can see your side of the story. Now that they're looking at this logically and not from a place of intense emotion, the fact that I keep seeing kings, very symbolic that this could be a divine counterpart. Amazing. So, let's see their intentions towards you. What are you? Nine of Cups, okay. All right. <laughs> Hang on. Kids. <laughs> my twins are fighting. Um, my son had food in his mouth, and he wanted to go into his sister's room to see something, and she does not want ants in her room so she was like you have to finish chewing before you come into my room <laughs> anyway um nine of cups dolphins so this person's intentions you know are to bring positivity to, positivity to this this is unconditional love this is wish fulfillment um they want to bring joy to this so those are their intentions we also have father of earth so look at all the freaking kings we're seeing so father of earth, this is someone who wants to invest in this long term. They're following their intuition here. Let's see their next action towards you. The sun! The empress! <laughs> the fool! Ace of air! <laughs> Look! <laughs> We have, we had the emperor earlier, didn't we? Yeah. So we have the fool and the ace of air, which is a breakthrough moment. It's communication, it's truth, it's clarity. So their next actions to take a leap of faith towards you 
with clarity and truth, King of Swords. And we have the Empress. So we have the sun and the empress, divine masculine, divine feminine, <laughs> action to bring you clarity, to come back into your life, to feel your sunshine again. You know, I kind of am looking at this person as a sunflower. It's like wherever you go, <laughs> they like turn towards you. They're guided towards you. You're their healing light. You're their shining star or whatever. That's what I'm hearing. And the sun shows them bringing you clarity, bringing healing energy to this, positivity. Their intentions were to bring positivity. The nine of cups is the mini sun. We have the empress here, so they want to nurture this. Um, beautiful. She is amazing. They. They. Don't mean to gender you. <laughs> so they want to nurture this, you know? Healthy, sensual committed connection what i'm hearing the empress you know maybe this person if age is not a thing or if your age allows maybe this person wants to have a baby with you a little baby <laughs> i'm good with babies <laughs> i used to be a newborn photographer <laughs> they used to call me the baby whisperer and i loved it <laughs> um not that that matters oh look at the baby i didn't even the baby <laughs> anyway <laughs> um let's see what you need to know about this person what do you need to know about this person eight of swords separation this person could have trauma that they're going through trauma that they're healing i feel like this person thinks about you a lot i feel that they possibly ran from this connection because they thought they were keeping themselves safe in some sense and daughter of earth so it feels like in separation this person has started healing they've started growing they've started maybe even looking into their their roots at some of the trauma that they have but this is someone who in separation they're coming in with what looks like a stable offer it's funny how delayed the notifications on youtube are um i always laugh because like two days after I post a short, I'll get a notification on my personal YouTube like, oh, Divine Empress Tarot just uploaded. It's like, no, I didn't. I uploaded two days ago. What are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, we have temperance here. So I do feel like this is someone who's, you know, been through healing, being, they're being patient about how they're coming in. They could be coming in way more balanced here with temperance. Um, they may need you with this page of earth and the temperance card, you know, they may come in out of no contact before they're ready and spirits saying to, you know, be very patient with this person. They're trying page of pentacles that does symbolize growth and we have death. So they have been through a transformation. Beautiful rebirth. Interesting. So let's see the future of this connection. Oh, this daughter of Earth looks like she has a mermaid tail around her neck. How interesting. You could be very, um, you could be very drawn to water. 333 on the timer. Future of this connection, please, spirit. We have Eight of Pentacles Renewal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have Page of Fire. So we do see um, restored passion, flirting. This person may come in, you know. Um, oh my gosh, we have the Ten of Cups sitting here in front of my face. How nice. <laughs> okay then. Look, look at these stepping stones. It's like very symbolic to me of the journey you're on and the steps you're taking and this person is about to have to take that big leap anyway ten of cups page of wands so we do see energy put back into this we see emotional fulfillment we see happiness joy and we have renewal here look at the elephants beautiful beautiful the elephant such a stable patient energy very dedicated um dedicated to the long path ahead renewal energy and we have ten of so ten of wands, ten of wands. 
So Ten of Wands, it was in reverse. Ten of Wands, it's like the end of struggle, the end of burdens. In fact, it's when you hit that energy of overwhelm and burdens that the that you're guided to take that action. You pick up that wand. Um, interesting. What does your person want you to know? We have the Queen of Pentacles. Remember earlier the King of Pentacles? Counterpart energy, soulmate energy, beautiful. You could both be the same element. Doesn't have to be Earth. You could be older than this person because we have the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles there so you could be younger than this person no older older um, but let's see what this person wants to say to you what do you want to say to my friend they have a new outlook three of wands remember that deadlock with the hands the arm wrestle this person wants you to know they're about to take off and what comes after three of wands four of wands this person is about to take off. This is forward movement. We have the four of cups in reverse, which we saw earlier with the otters. We saw it the otter, the otter way in the upright. <laughs> I'm not funny. Um, but four of cups in reverse, a new outlook on love, fresh perspective on love, wanting to take more action, wanting to change their approach so they can have forward movement with you. What are you? Seven of cups, clarity. Clarity. Interesting. So this person seems to be looking at you clearly now. New outlook. Four of cups in reverse. Any last words for my friend from you, spirit? Any last words? The lovers! <laughs> it's okay, my friends. If you left this person or if they let you go or you let them go, you have to know that what is meant for you will not pass you by. We have the lovers here, so this is definitely a love connection. This is the last card I'm getting, and it was the card on the bottom of the deck when we started. The old couple, six of cups, longing. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> so, what else can I get you? What else? Let's go this deck. Let's go this deck. Interesting. We have sexy time. So maybe you and this person have a very intense, fiery connection. Maybe that intimidated them. That doesn't surprise me. So what do you need to know about this? We have family. So I feel like this person, remember that baby, I feel like this person sees building a home with you. They see a future with you. This could be a connection where they actually had, you know, intuitive downloads from their higher self where they envisioned a future with you and maybe that scared them. Maybe they had fear of commitment. We have control. So it could have been, we see this queen here, like, mm. so it could have been that, you know, you were trying to control the outcome. Maybe your person was trying to control things. Like that two of wands, it felt like a power struggle. It felt like someone needed to change their approach. I'm not saying you, but if you're someone who tried and tried and tried to make this work and you kept hitting a wall, that's a sense of trying to control things. Um, maybe this person has some kind of karmic, if you resonate with that, that's kind of pulling the strings behind, behind the scenes. Um, this person could have... You know, I was picking up on that narcissistic tendency energy, so it could have been that, you know, they grew up being parented by someone like that, and maybe they, you know, still have those issues. Anyway, let's get a couple more. This person could be watching you online. They could be, um, they could be a boss. This says wishing hoping and praying and I'm hearing that song from my best friend's wedding hoping and wishing and praying it won't get you into his heart and if you're something about true love all you've got to do is hug him and squeeze him and kiss him and tell you tell him that you care whatever that song is anyway <laughs> we have letting go remember I said Lover's energy. I saw the Eight of Cups. If you had to let this go, know that it you let it go for a reason. 
that what's meant for you will always come back. And we have looking for a sign. So this, it could be you that's like, it could be you looking for continuous signs saying like, if I should let this go, send me a sign. Okay, but send me another one. Okay, send me 10 more. And it could be that your person is seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities about you. You could even be getting like number, you know, the other day I finally looked up a number that I've been seeing for like a year. I don't know why I didn't look it up, but I kept seeing it. I kept seeing it. I finally looked it up and it was so symbolic. It was like, man, I should have looked that up a year ago. Anyway, so pay attention to those signs. All right, so I feel like I need to get you one more. What is it though? Maybe this one? Seems to be this one. Spirit wants this one. Renewal, Lily. Happiness, protection, guidance, empress energy. So you could be an empress energy attracting this person in. So we have the fox card. This is really interesting because I was picking up on that confusion, that possibly emotional manipulation and we do have confusion, sadness, mental, being tested, blockage, thoughts, misunderstanding, difficulties, uncertainty. And we have the fox. And that's temperance energy. And it's cunning, deceit, distrust, jealousy, mask, intrigue, manipulation, brain, strategy, disrespect. So it could have been that someone, you know, disrespected you, manipulated you, deceived you, confused you. You could have been at like a mental, like maybe you went through a heart, like maybe you were suffering mentally. Uh, maybe your mental health took a nosedive and maybe that's when you let go or they let you go. And I feel like it happened to bring this back into balance, 14 temperance. We also have lover's energy here and a king card. What else, spirit? What do we need to know? We have anchor, achieving your goals, stability, hope, security, home port, true love, anchoring, clinging. We have divine timing, past, present, future, the time has passed, the time is ripe, act immediately, wait for it, patient, time for yourself, cosmic timing. And these clocks say like 1220, 539, 313, 115, 1010. I'm just trying to tell you all the numbers that I'm seeing in case they're symbolic. That's interesting. You have both Fox cards, and it could be that maybe, you know, it could be that you have a child and they don't it could be that something about how they treated you manipulation remember now they're seeing your side of the story it feels like they've matured because this is a very different energy family work spiritual development protecting family sacrificing yourself spiritual development so I feel like maybe this person has learned a spiritual lesson over time and you know maybe you're a parent who is protecting your child from this maybe there's something about a child in this like your person wants to have a child with you maybe they needed to <clears throat> evolve and grow before they're meant to have a baby I don't know I don't know what that is only you will know one more Okay, two more. We have the kiss. Love, romance, deep feelings, reunion. 47, emperor, chariot, equaling 11. Union. We have the lily, empress energy. And we have another 11 card. 11, 11. Direction, clue. Pay attention, signs, symbols, synchronicity, intuition on track. So you're on the right path. Look at this. 
you're on the right path. Empress energy, emperor energy, 1111. Those cards equal 1111. So it feels like you and your, your person are coming into balance. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you lots of love. <laughs> I'm sending you lots of love and light, my friend. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. I don't mean that in like a let's meet at the playground and fight kind of way. I mean like I'll see you tomorrow for fun <laughs> and friendship and tarot. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. <laughs>